Hey viewers, recently I, I got a great deal on a pair of wheels. This is one of them, the rear wheel here, and they've got like bladed spokes. But like this one here uh, had a broken spoke, so the spoke is actually missing here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the spoke. I went to the local bike shop and got a replacement spoke. They matched it as best they could. And so this is actually pretty close, not exact, but pretty close. So I'm going to install this. First thing I need to do is the nipple from the broken spoke is still inside the rim, so I need to get that out of there. So I'm going to remove the rim tape, which I need to remove the rim tape anyway in order to install the new spoke. So I'm going to pull this off of here. So there's the nipple. The nipple came out there. Pull this tape all the way off here. Now I want to install the spoke here. So um, if you look at the hub here, you see all the uh, spokes are fed in from the outside in. And there's the empty hole there. And then it's going to go out to this uh, hole in the uh, rim there. Um, so the, the spoke is going to go in there. And then if you look at other spokes that go that same angle, you want to see how they're laced. So it goes over here in and then it goes across this uh, spoke there and like the same way here so it goes in and goes across the spoke there so what I want to do is have this spoke go in the hole and then go across the spoke and then go to the hole in the rim so I'll feed this through here get it all the way through and then I can bend the spoke a little bit kind of get it over and just kind of get it lined up with the hole in the rim there so now I have the nipple. I want to get the nipple in through the hole there. So what I have is a skewer. I'm going to kind of put the nipple on the end of the skewer there. Um, and what I can do is I can feed it down through the hole in the rim here. And then come out the other side. Then I can put the spoke into the nipple here. And then I can just use a skewer to just kind of turn this nipple in and thread this on to the end of the spoke like this and that'll let me get it started and then once I get it out it comes out of the rim here I can just kind of turn this I want to tighten it just until it's just kind of finger tight like that till all of a sudden I now I have a little bit of tension on the spoke there like that a little tighter there and so like that. So now I'm going to need to true the wheel. Now when replacing a broken spoke, it's a reasonable assumption to assume that the wheel was reasonably true begin to begin with before the spoke broke. So I've marked the uh, replaced spoke here with a piece of tape. And so as I spin the rim here in a truing stand, see it's kind of here, but then when this spoke comes around, all of a sudden the wheel jars over that way a little bit and then comes back. That's because there's no tension on the spoke. So what I need to do is tighten this spoke so that it pulls the rim over. I'm going to go under the assumption that the other spokes are already at proper tension. So I'm going to tighten this spoke until the uh, rim gets pulled over and is reasonably in line. Um, I With bladed spokes, when you're turning the nipple, you don't want the spoke to get twisted. So I have like a little tool here. Uh, Park Tool makes one, this one's from Shimano. And what this does is it's got like a little slot here. It allows you to hold the bladed spoke so that as you're tightening the nipple, the bladed spoke doesn't get twisted. So let me see, I have to figure out which tool I need. Uh, Try. Yeah, the green one seems about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start tightening this um, spoke here until it pulls over. And to tighten this here, looking from the hub down to the rim, I want to turn this counterclockwise to tighten it. So. I'm going to start tightening it here and then keep an eye on this uh, spoke because I don't want to start twisting 
and I'm going to just start tightening this until it pulls the rim over closer to the middle. It's a little bit better. So now I can adjust these calipers in here and get around there. So I still need to pull this over a little bit. So get this here. So there, after just tightening this one spoke uh, until it was centered, and so now the rim is nearly perfectly straight. Now all I have to do is put a rim tape on and I'm all set. Anyway, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. You'll see new videos as I post them. I post a lot of videos. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. And I post a lot of stuff over there too. Anyway, thank you much for watching.